Hello everyone, Novanoid here, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to replace the Geiger probe on the CDV700. So my CDV700 had a um, short in the cable, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to unscrew and remove the probe, or the, um, the, uh, the Geiger tube from the probe. So you just take it, unscrew it, and you want to carefully grab the Geiger tube by the thick bottom part. You don't want to grab it, you'll notice there's a thin strip about three quarters of the way up and you want to grab from the bottom and not from that thin strip and remove the uh, tube and the top part of the probe. Now I got my new old stock uh, replacement probe from eBay, sure you can too. Uh, if the listing's still up, I'll link it in the description. Um, so the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the batteries. I mean, uh, you just want to do that before you start soldering on anything. Um, so you'll notice here that the Geiger probe is held in with this bolt. So you also have to unscrew this bolt here. Um, so just unscrew that shouldn't be too difficult. There's also a knot there. I assume that's to uh, stop you from tugging at it and pulling it through. But we can tie that ourselves later. And there are two solder joints that we have to desolder. So there's one ground right there. And then there's one attached to the circuit board. So for that, you're going to need a soldering iron, which we luckily have. So... Let me plug this in and heat it up so that we can get started. Alright, at this point the soldering iron has finished heating up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the soldering joint and just uh, heat it up. And hopefully pull that piece right out as we just did. does seem that it just came out very smooth. Now the other part we need to remove is looped on there I think. So that might be a bit more difficult to remove. So we were able to desolder the um, this cable. We ended up having to unscrew this screw so that we could remove this clip so we could desolder it easy. Um, so this just was slid underneath here and we unscrewed it, pulled it out. You don't have to remove anything else. Um, so anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're going to undo this knot and it should be easy from here. And now, through this, we can just pull, pull it right out. Alright, there we go. Um, now we need to feed the other probe through. We're going to feed this right through here. There we go. Now with that fed through, we need to connect the braided cable, or this piece, to ground, and we need to connect this to the circuit board at the point where I desoldered them. So we're just gonna slide this right on through. And 
and this should just screw right on there. There we go. That should be doable. Then we're just going to feed that right up in there. Then we're going to put this back under there. We're going to solder that joint on really quick. And that should be it.